let's go to the agenda of the program. So, uh, I said, uh, said earlier, I will be already discussed about few of the business processes. Uh, we'll go to a system level business process explanations. Then uh, we'll talk about the Oracle CPQ modules, our complete training, uh, 82-90% training talks about uh, the you know in-depth configurations module, commerce module, document design, and what all the things we uh, discussed in the last slide that will be segmented into each part and discuss how that can be developed in a system as a developer how you can implement those requirements in the system so that part will be discussing in the cpq modules i will be taking you through the sessions then next the integration so now we uh, we were discussing about the cpq or i call cpq only but it in a business transition process a multiple system will get uh, involved it's, it's kind of a crm we can say cpq upstream and downstream system of the cpq okay so we will be talking to the all uh, scenarios what are the down upstream what all the informations what is downstream Th that i will be uh, explaining in depth and will give a demo also in in, in regarding the data flow, how the data flow is happening to each systems and what is key role in, uh, in, in those data flow and how data Oracle CPK performing that key role, okay? So I have just demonstrated a sample, uh, or I have just uh, put a sample uh, data flow and kind of lead to cash or code to cash. You can say this business process, we can say code to cash. Uh, business pro how the data flow happens from upstream to downstream let's uh, have a look on that this business of you uh, got to cash could you see stand for got to cash okay so this uh, data flow specifically explains uh, a data entity integration happens from upstream to the enterprise relationship management system ERP system that means in an organization if custom any customer is coming and uh, getting deal with that product or with that sales team from there to what all the activities is happening uh, in, in 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 a crm that crm is a customer relationship manager uh, tool so we have many uh, crm tools available in the market likewise we have many cpg tools available in the market and uh, this second uh, last one is a downstream all the configured opportunity details from uh, crm and cpg will be passed to downstream systems that is erp systems to next uh, data processing so let's understand uh, specifically what is a crm so uh, whenever the Oracle CPQ uh, system is being used, there should be an upstream always. Not always, there could be a possibility that you can directly punch the order and uh, pull the data from, but in few of the, most of the cases, there is an integration happens, there's an upstream, okay? Uh, that's called CRM. CRM mostly hold this uh, specific data, that is opportunity creation, uh, customer product selection and code creating the code actually these are the main uh, or the key content in in uh, in general the uh, crm consists of opportunity uh, so i will be coming to that uh, part separately what is opportunity what is deal all those things we'll talk discuss in in a in depth way but for now let's understand what is a CRM, what are the different types of CRM available and how the data flow happens from CRM to CPQ and then to ERP systems. Currently uh, in the market, uh, if you're talking about the CRM, the top CRMs are Salesforce is here, OEC is Oracle Sales Cloud, Siebel CRM, SAP CRM. These are the different different products available in the market uh, to do the pre-sales activity, we can say, or the customer relationship management activity, these kind of activity can be engaged or performed using these kinds of app tools, actually. First of all, I'll just give a brief that all these CRM, CPQ, specifically the Oracle CPQ is a cloud-based product, that it is a SaaS software as a service. 
so you don't have any other installation or any uh, it's not like you know uh, any database server all those things needed nothing you just need an internet connection uh, you just need a web browser to use or start using this oracle cpk system but uh, as i said it's a cloud and a saas uh, is it's a licensed product you have to buy the licenses from the oracle then you will get that product to use for you okay according to the license you can get in touch with oracle for understanding the quotations and how the license is all those things okay so coming to that um, cpq part so these are the uh, crms available in market cbil crm uh, oic uh, sap salesforce once these activity or this much activity has been performed in uh, upstream crm is in upstream then these data will be pulled to oracle cpq or any cpq now we are talking about oracle cpq so we'll be uh, learning or teaching more or training more on or complete in oracle cpq only but for a general understanding or general knowledge i'm telling you these are the other cpq is also available in market called salesforce cpq after cpq all all other the cpq is available or the respective one product based tools but here uh, imagine or we have that uh, oracle cpq as a tool comparatively oracle cpq has a larger complex uh, bandwidth to handle the large implementations like uh, large big orders and the large if you can a customer having any large data and uh, flexibility of the data flow between upstream downstream and the data integration systems i mean all these things uh, oracle cpq stands very high in the market okay so uh, in cpq we can <clears throat> convert any complex business processes in into the system the configurations and that helps uh, uh, the sales to sell the product in, in a very um, effective manner. So once the opportunity, customer mapping, product selections, in court installations, details has been uh, configured in CRM, the data will be pulled to or pushed to CPQ. So I will be talking about the integration part in, in a system um, wise uh, demos. So we'll talk in the feature sessions how that can be integrated to CRM to CPQ. <clears throat> in CPQ, we discussed earlier, uh, like uh, what all the activities a salesperson is doing or rather respected in this uh, code will be created. In the code creation, they will be doing the configuration and uh, they, as we discussed what all the products we needed as per the customer, that products will get configured. Um, that pricing will be uh, and defined then the discounting and approvals will become and the document generation so um, this is a business process and i'm talking about from the sales or front end front end or end user how a user is using the systems okay i'm talking in that point of view so all these things will generate from the system and the final thing is the document generation so you will get the document from the system that means you can share the document to the customer so, but uh, that's, you can say actually the CPQ, uh, the front end part may be end, but from the process flow, from the business data flow stack, uh, the order is not at move, right? Like we have just created a code to move the order to be delivered to the customer, the order to be shipped to the customer, the invoice has to be uh, uh, build or uh, that maintenance and all, all other uh, no, customer activities or customer with account activity is spending. So for those kinds of activity normally happens in ERP systems and price relationship systems. So in the enterprise systems, all the CRM and CPQ data will be pushed or pulled to the downstream. This is the downstream. This is upstream of the CPQ and this is the downstream of the CPQ. That means you are getting this information from CRM and giving this information to downstream, this up and downstream. So the, uh, we have uh, different integration techniques, uh, how the data can be integrated. So that will be, that also will be discussing. So all the code configuration opportunity, all those things will be moved to the ERP systems and uh, the 
there the order will get generated and that order will move to the next level of the ERP process and get uh, delivered to the customer. So that's how a business scenario code to cash flow happens <clears throat> to uh, achieve or to implement uh, or enhance this code to cash flow in an automated process we have these systems okay we have crm we have cpq vr vrp tools in in our very organizations using these tools we are implemented these business requirements into data flow systems that means it, it, it will reduce or it will wash out all your manual errors doing by the sales rep uh, order issues all the technical issues happens during the manual discussions all those time lagging uh, imagine if everything actually if you want to like likewise how you are using your online platforms if you want to order something i mean if you are a customer of a particular amazon or Flipkart, if you are a prime customer you will get the order in in a day time right so it's not like that you have to go to that customer place you have to talk to the no nothing such you are at your home you are selecting the line items which you need and you can get it but here only one thing is most of the organization will have the sales team so they will be talking to the customer they are talking to the customer it's not like a small thing product it's i said right it can't be anything so they will be talking to the customer so they will be selecting the product and delivering to them like in short actually so normally we don't refer if you're getting an order you will get the notification or if you'll get the pdf invoice in your email or if you're ordering anything you will get an invoice in in your uh, uh, del delivered product so likewise everything will get automated and will get delivered in, in, in smooth process that's how the crm and cpq and erp systems has been integrated and they they, they, they are playing a big role okay yeah just move to the next slide okay as i said um this is a business overview uh, we discussed and uh, this is the next thing is oracle cpq modules let's go to the oracle cpq modules okay oracle cpq module or uh, this is a breakup uh, or uh, significant modules I have just break it down and uh, explaining each and every sessions uh, what is Oracle CPQ does in the industry how this can be developed into the system all those steps so just move to that one one is overview and administration okay overview and administrations now we are specifically talking about the oracle cpq tool okay just in the previous slides we just discussed about the process flow how the data can be flow or the, how the data movement happens or how the business movement happens from each systems from crm to cpq cpq to other systems but here we are talking about the specific uh, cpq modules specifically about, about the oracle cpq product so imagine now we have a tool in front of you got an oracle cpq system how you can develop a product according to the customer requirement there we are talking about to develop a product you should understand what uh, what is this tool specifically right it's not like an open source java kind of platform that you can do your own development as based on the class and jar files it's not like that it's already a, it's, it's a developed product correct so product has its own <clears throat> behavior its own limitation its own uh, uh, boundaries its own advantages so you have to uh, perform the particular activity uh, how the product is being developed so that's how the product uh, understanding the product knowledge the subject matter expertise needed to implement these kind of uh, implementation or requirements to a particular product so you should understand what is this product or i will say product so there i am coming in the overview i will be covering um, this specifically the architecture uh, it is not about the front end of you know uh, end user architecture it's it's kind of a back end architecture how the oracle cpq product has been developed by uh, the oracle 
So what are the technologies, how the database layer, how, what are the techniques they have used to implement that or develop that product itself, okay? Uh, admin setup, I mean, what all the administration level activities has been uh, do if we are getting an Oracle CP system or how the users can be created, how the groups, how the file manager, these are the specifically the overall view of the administration. I will coming to uh, each uh, keywords, what is specifically I will explain you guys in, in depth, don't worry, uh, because we have uh, a lot to explain. Just, just in part of an agenda, I'm just taking you through all these things, okay? The next part of uh, in CPQ is configurations. So, use, I mean, we discussed the user has to do the configuration, right? So, to give or develop a system to our sales or the sales users, we should do the backend understanding of the requirement and do the development. To do the development, how the product hierarchy, how the configuration flow should be there, how the attributes can be created, how the you know, layout, I mean, how the layout can be designed, how the style sheets, uh, what's the data table relationships in the configuration? These are the specific logics we'll be covering, or the specific understanding we'll be covering in the configuration module. So next is a commerce module. The commerce module talks about how the pricing logics can be implemented, how the approval logics can be implemented, how the discounting procedures can be implemented in the system. We're talking about that level. So I already said that CPQ having three different modules, configure, price and code. The configure price will contain, depend this much of functionality, commerce will contain this much of functionality and document. Finally is a code part. Code part is doing using the document designer. That's a particular module we used to call in Oracle CPQ to develop any templates. Using this document designer, we are creating the templates. Likewise, I mean, how, what all the uh, templates need to be delivered to the customer, we have to develop that templates prior and uh, uh, based on the sales order creation, the dynamic data will be populated to the template and can share the uh, template to the user. Template is a mundane development activity that the template should be developed in the backend and then in front end user will be getting the uh, final document with all the data and they can share the uh, uh, template or the quotation with the uh, customer. So next we talks about the integrations part. Okay, so in I mean we discussed earlier how the data has to be flow from upstream to downstream all those things. So we, we discussed, we specifically explain how this integration can happen in, in a technical way, what all the setup has to be used in, in CRM um, for an CPU integration that's upstream. And likewise, how the data can be uh, not migrated to the downstream system, which all the techniques you can use using the REST APIs of, and other standard managed package installations, those things can be too that we'll be discussing in depth uh, and other one is reporting module. Uh, it's this one reporting uh, module in the CPQ. That, I mean, the mainly the reporting kind of feature will get useful for uh, higher management uh, uh, people in, in organization saying that uh, they need to see the revenue or the total selling happen for the particular uh, last period for saying that for the past 15 days, how much order has been sold for this particular region. For that, we have to do the uh, no, reporting module structuring. So uh, we'll show you how the reporting, the standard reporting is there. It's a customized kind of you know data configurable report only. If the sales or the, if uh, for example, if you see the manager is asking you, I need the data for last 15 days, you come to the reporting module, select the parameter saying who is the sales region, who is the sales rep. If you need to showcase your selling order, you can put your name and you can put your region and share the document. In that, what the code number will come, the pricing, everything will come. It, it's a kind of a configurable uh, reporting module. So according to the user or the, uh, the management need, we can uh, showcase to them. This is a, a productivity of that particular uh, sales team or the particular region of the sales or particular product we can say. Okay, so uh, these are the overall uh, agenda or the overall uh, discussions going to happen in, in uh, coming sessions. 